Hey, what's up guys? Alex here in downtown Toronto at the intersection of Dundas Street East and Victoria Street. And there is the the famous Young Dundas Square, which is, as I've already mentioned in other videos, it's a very, very touristy place. And they are getting ready for Canada Day celebrations. In fact, uh, 1st of July is on a Saturday. Despite that, uh, it might be raining, which is probably a big, a big L because, uh, because uh, I really want to come back down here and see what's going on with the Canada Day celebrations, at least here in downtown. But if there's a break from the rain, then uh, hopefully, uh, hopefully, uh, get my, I'll, get, um, uh, I'll be able to come down. Anyway, so we're walking south here on. Victoria Street. Here's Young Street over there. That's a block west. And hopefully I don't get copyrighted by this music here. Surprisingly, there's a lot of people here. Or I don't even know if I should be surprised because uh, technically a lot of kids are done school. As I've mentioned, uh, oh, this is a very uh, notable restaurant here. And this is, this is the uh, studio for City News and Breakfast Television. All right, so it's been a while since I filmed a walk on this street. Actually, more like over a year. And this street has some very interesting architecture and uh, and buildings. So uh, I'm gonna take this down to uh, Wellington. This is the M River Street. Okay, so the entrance is on this side, the main entrance. It was named after a very uh, normal businessman. Hey, Massachusetts. I don't see a lot of uh, uh, Massachusetts drivers out here. But uh, we got one from MA. Where could he be from? Boston, Chelmsford, Springfield? Who knows? But anyway, it's a it's a nice day, finally. Yesterday was quite bad with with the air quality. Oh my god, it was worse. It was worse uh, than it was like er earlier this month with the index up at 10, which is very, very high. Now, I did go out, but it was only to grab a haircut. And uh, that kind of deviated from my future plans. So, uh, today, uh, and surprisingly, the air quality is much better. It's improved, but it still may deteriorate. And it's a little bit hazy, so... Uh, uh, I wanted to film a ride on the Scarber RT for a, for about three months now. It's been a while. And, and, you know, with the line closing down on November the 18th of this year, I thought I would do that. So, I, uh, I successfully did. Filmed, uh, I filmed videos in both directions. And then I just came all the way down here and I had a delicious chicken sandwich from a brand new restaurant called uh, Cocky's uh, Crispy uh, Chicken Sandwich. I heard about it on Blocks only a couple days ago. So I decided to uh, grab some lunch there and uh, it did not disappoint at all. Very good. It's on Dundas Street, just uh, a block east of University Avenue. And there's the famous Friends restaurant. There's one on College Street. I've been to this restaurant, I think, was it 2015? Been here once, and there's the Massey Hall, which recently underwent some major renovations. But it's an iconic venue, and same with uh, same with these amazing old vintage doors, which which obviously have been uh, refurbished as we're about to cross uh, Shooter Street. And there is St. Michael's Hospital, or locals call it St. Mike's. Not only that my mom used to work there, but uh, I was born at that hospital. I was on the 15th floor. And they have some, uh, not really vintage, but some pretty cool revamped elevators. They're still quite old. Though a lot of though a lot of things at the hostel have changed with uh, the Peter Gilgan Tower opened up a couple years ago, but Massey Hall it has hosted a lot of uh, very well known acts, 
that I can't even name. I think my dad's been there a couple of times. Well, again, as I mentioned, it's never. It's much nicer than it was yesterday, but uh, because of the, uh, but because of the, mainly because of the wildfire smoke. Again, as I mentioned yesterday in a walking video I filmed, where it was at its highest. In fact, we were actually ranked the. Uh, Number one in the world for like worst air quality, which is freaking insane. So uh, I was gonna go to Branton this week, but because of that, <laughs> I I couldn't. I I was gonna go tomorrow, but it's raining, and I want to get up at the ass crack of dawn so I can catch the 2004 New Flyer D40 LF. It's like that's like the only one that's left in service. Though I did hear Branton Transit has ordered some. Late 2000s D40 LFs from London Transit, so that's gonna be interesting. And here's Queen Street, where they've been doing a lot of preliminary and beginnings, uh, or pre uh, preliminary work for the Ontario subway line. So that means I'm gonna have to cross over to the other side. And Queen Subway Station is, of course, a block to the east. I mean West, but this is all being undertaken by uh, Metrolinx, as you can clearly see here, and there's a cop probably directing traffic. My pediatrician used to be in, uh, was it, I think it was that building up ahead, there's Church Street. Actually, I did go up, uh, I didn't go into, a, I did go into a St. Mike's uh, earlier this year to film the elevators. But I wasn't really pleased with how uh, rush it was. I think at the time it was a bit busy, so I don't know. And the fact that hostels are not really safe, so. I think after this, I think after this I'll head over to Union Station, maybe catch the streetcar and then make, make, maybe make a couple more walking videos around Chinatown and Kensington Market. It's been a while, so. Here's Richmond Street. I can't remember if I mentioned the date or not at the beginning of this video, but today is June 29th, 2023. Thursday afternoon, and it's 1.24 p.m., and the temperature is 23 Celsius. I'm not sure what, what that smell is, but whatever it is, it's quite good. I don't want to have to like edit shit and stuff, so uh, I mean, I mean, almost every day, like I'm at my laptop and I'm I'm editing things. It's mainly like when I'm filming uh, uh, bus rides, you know, when when uh, uh, when we wait for a while, more than ten seconds, that's, then that's when I gotta cut them out. So it's not it's not a waste of time. But making these walking videos, if the light takes a while to change, then I gotta like edit and I don't really wanna do that. So I always try to make these walking videos at like one take, so. I would love to know if any of these office, these office buildings here have uh, old elevators. Like this one here, I probably doubt it though. These are some other old buildings here. And here's Lombard Street. To me, this building looks like it's looks like it came from the uh, where it was built in the 70s or 80s. But like uh, many uh, like many office buildings, they've uh, been renovated and uh, of course got their elevators modernized. Apparently, we're in the St. James uh, neighborhood. This is a very old and historical part of town. Hmm, maybe I'll have to come back here when I'm not filming and uh, try to catch some of the elevators myself. It smells like chicken again. Okay, I don't care, I'm making this light. Technically, I'm not supposed to be doing this, but. I'm doing. 
And not only has been a bit of a construction hell, because eventually they're gonna have streetcars here. As uh, for the rest of a decade, as I mentioned, Queen will be closed between Victoria and Bay for again, subway construction. And for some reason, I made it back to the other side of the street. I'll just leave it from here. Nice uh, old building here. With what looks to be a retro office, like right on top of it. Looks like, looks quite nice. Oh, that's a nice sport. Look here. For all you uh, exotic car fanatics, I bet you, I bet you one of these cars were at the, uh, were at that car show in Yorkville on a Father's Day. That looks nice, and it's, I think it's an electric car too. Yep, uh, I'm seeing, I'm seeing a lot more electric uh, vehicles out here. Do I like them? Eh. I just hate the fact that you can't go too far in them, like every like five, six hours, or I don't, I don't know how long. I mean, I don't drive and stuff, but uh, I could always do more research, but uh, I'm just uh, I'm not too keen on them. Yeah, there's a lot of uh, ideas here for me to go inside one of these buildings and film elevators. But the question is, can I evade security? Yeah, a lot of these, <laughs> they might be old, but who knows? You, you, there might be a, a hidden gem or something in there that might be worth checking out, so. Oh, look at that. This guy's washing the windows. As my camera decides to go out of focus. And here's King Street. You know, yesterday, uh, or is it last night? There's the King Edward Hotel. What was I saying? Yeah, so I was watching uh, last night at one of uh, Alta McFall's recent uh, sidewalk scenario. We're going back to the other side. Yeah, he was, uh, he posted a walking video where he, uh, we're hearing someone, uh, he was walking on this specific street in downtown Montreal and I didn't realize that uh, the video, he, the walking video he filmed on, he was actually a block away from the hotel I stayed at, which was on, uh, which was between René Levesque and St. Catherine Street in Montreal. The hotel I stayed at was, uh, was called, uh, uh, Scarf, Scarf, um, Phillips, or actually, to be, if you want to be English, Phillips Square Hotel, which is right across from the bay. You guys may remember I went to Montreal last year, and there's a possibility I might be going back there again this summer. So it's very cool to see uh, Elton just uh, just walking in a very, very familiar spot, and I absolutely cannot wait to be back there. To me, like it looked like he was like, like near the uh, Shaughnessy Village or like uh, what the Bell Center, but uh, no, I, he started just a block away from like Square Victoria, and uh, it's, it's quite crazy, eh? Again, uh, he makes a lot of walking uh, videos in Montreal, and uh, I got the inspiration for him to do just that. And we're almost done here. Here's Wellington Street, and they're adding traffic lights here. I think what I'm gonna do is, I'm, maybe I'm gonna head back up. Uh, I'm gonna head back up off camera and uh, see if I could go into one of these buildings and find some elevators. I haven't actually filmed a, I actually haven't been filming a lot of elevators recently, so uh, I think that'd be a good idea. I think that'd be a good idea. And I think I forgot to mention, but we're just walking on Scott Street. 
And now here's Front Street. And right here is a very well, well-known uh, fountain that's often seen by tourists. Yep, there is the famous dog fountain. I think that's one of my favorite, uh, favorite fountains here in the city. That's one cat right there. On top of this, whatever the hell that is, but. Yeah, after the bonus cycle rather than before. Okay. But we're gonna end things off on a positive note. Across from the St. Lawrence Center on Front Street, right at the Dog Fountain. I think it, yeah, again, it's my, I think it might be my favorite one in the city. And again, a lot of the dogs, a lot of the real dogs that come in, they think those are real ones. I've, it's not uncommon to see them like barking at them. And they don't even know. They're just statues, see? Oh, there's two cats here. Where's the second one? Anyway, so here's a no, here's a look right here. Oh, there's the cat. There it is. So I found. This, I didn't even know there was a second cat here at this fountain. It's quite interesting. But anyway, I'm going to wrap up the video and uh, hang around for a bit, and then maybe I'll take the streetcar from Union, head to Chinatown. So, guys. Uh, uh, thank you all for watching, and if you enjoyed, please leave a like, comment, and subscribe if you haven't already. As always, stay tuned for more videos, and uh, check out my numbers as well. Have a great summer, and stay cool, stay safe, and you already know the buy. So take care, adios, and bye-bye. Peace out.